Hey, hey, scrappers! Tracy Reed here from tracyreed.com with another one of my five minute vids tutorials that will get you learning and get you on the road. Now, this one was requested by scrapper out there, Leandra, and she wanted to know basically how to make her paint that comes included in digital kits look like it's sprayed through a stencil. Now, there's a few different methods for this, so I have three different examples here that we're going to go through. First, let's start with what she wanted to know, which was, let's say you wanted the paint only to be right here in the butterfly of this digital element. So what you would do is you would click this layer and then use your magic wand tool and make sure it says contiguous up here because it would only click on the part that you wanted it to click instead of clicking all of the same color or all of the same transparency like we're going to do here. So you just use your magic wand tool, you come in and click inside the butterfly and then you want to select your paint layer and click on it. Where'd it go? There it is. Click on it and command or control J to create a new layer and then you delete the layers that you no longer want. So it would be this and this, and now you have a painted butterfly. Now another option, let's say you wanted this word art to be painted, or in this case pattern stamped, instead of the wooden pattern stamp, you would, or the wooden element, excuse me, you would go in and command click on the layer thumbnail of the element that you want to be painted, and then click on the paint layer and command or control J to create a new layer and then delete the wooden layer and the excess paint and you have a painted word art instead of a wooden word art. Now I'm gonna go ahead and undo what I just did because I want to show you another option that a lot of people use with the same kind of element. So we're going to undelete the paint and the stencil and remove the layer so instead of now just selecting the paint and creating a new layer of paint out of this word art instead if we delete the selected area we will be left with get rid of that we will be left with the paint with the element cut out now as you can see this can be a really good option if you have a darker color behind it and you can you sort of masked the element from the paint. Now this doesn't always work down here. Let's say you wanted to have all of these holes for whatever reason in this doily painted but you didn't want the doily and you didn't want the excess around the edges. So we could go in with the magic wand and click in every Let's zoom in. Click in every single hole in here, but that would take forever. So instead, you command click the layer thumbnail to select it again. And then if you hit Command Shift I or Control Shift I, it selects the inverse. So first we had the doily selected, and then when we hit Command Shift I, we now have the all the transparency selected instead. But we don't want all this excess around the edge of the doily. So now we take the magic wand tool and hit Alt and click on the outside of the doily. Oh, make sure we're on the doily layer. And now all that's left is the holes inside the doily because we've deselected all of the outside of the doily. And then just like before, Command J when we're on our paint layer to create a new layer and delete, delete, and now all you have is painted holes. Now this would work for anything out there. You can do it basically on any element that you want. So this is a really great way to expand the uses of your digital kit. Hopefully it answered a lot of questions that you didn't even know you had. Did you learn something from this video? Please like it or pin it on Pinterest and share the knowledge. Have a great day.